Hey guys, welcome to the Cheers to Progress podcast. I'm your host Zuzka Light and today I'm gonna tell you all about the eight pillars of weight loss, which is also the name of my new program that starts on January 1st. This program is not only for anyone who struggles to lose weight and is frustrated with it, but it's also for anyone who wants to improve their fitness and health and have more energy and experience less stress. Because stress plays a big role when it comes to our overall well-being. And I'm sure you've heard before the saying that stress kills. Well, first of all, that's not an exaggeration. And secondly, stress also kills your fitness and weight loss goals. By the end of this video, you will understand what I'm talking about and how important it is for weight loss and optimal health to have a stress-free mind and body. People struggle with weight loss more than ever. They struggle with emotional eating, binging or other eating disorders, and they're not getting better with dieting and exercise which is creating more frustration and more issues. The studies show that 98% of people fail when it comes to dieting and weight loss. And that's only because diets don't get to the root of the issue. There are several different variables that need to be addressed when it comes to weight loss. And in my world, they should be addressed in the right order if we want to see progress. For example, there are a lot of people who believe that it's all about balancing your hormone levels because if your hormones are out of balance, then you can't get well. And I agree with that, but only to a certain degree because when you look at the latest research, you'll see that the master hormone that controls all the other hormones is actually cortisol, also known as the stress hormone. So it makes a lot of sense to go after the cause of the stress first before you start any kind of intervention to support all the other hormones. Because if your cortisol is out of whack, everything's out of whack. What controls cortisol more than anything? Your autonomic nervous system. In other words, If I'm living in the fight or flight response because I'm overwhelmed with stress, then I won't be able to balance my hormones. So I have to address the autonomic nervous system first because that's what control the hormones. So as you can see, we have reversed engineered to get from the symptom to the root cause and find the right order in which the domino effect happens in the body. Similarly, a lot of people believe that the root cause of weight loss struggle is compromised gut health. I agree that gut health has to be addressed and supported, but again, it has to happen in the right order. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be chasing my tail. So let's just reverse engineer that again. What exactly can compromise gut health? For one, unhealthy lifestyle and diet, of course, we all know that. And two, once again, stress, created by imbalances in the autonomic nervous system. Now, how does stress affect gut health? First of all, the autonomic nervous system controls inflammation in the body and it's governed by the vagus nerve, which goes from your brain to your gut and then spreads out and affects absolutely everything. So if you're living in the fight or flight response, you will have what's called poor vagal tone. This means that your vagus nerve is not responding properly. And this is a big issue for your digestion because if you have poor vagal tone, and excess of tension created by the dominant sympathetic nervous system, you will have issues with your gut because you will have 
poor circulation and fluid flow in your body and low stomach acid which means your body will have a really hard time breaking down the food that you eat if your body is not breaking down food properly then you're creating gut issues and not getting important nutrients into your cells if you don't have a good blood flow circulation then you have high blood pressure and your cells are not getting enough oxygen and if your cells are not getting enough oxygen and nutrients due to poor digestion then how do you think it affects your gut health and weight loss and this is why you want to address your vagus nerve and the autonomic nervous system first so that the interventions that you do to your gut health can actually take an effect sometimes people are so far down the rabbit hole and their body is so tensed up from all the stress they went through that no matter what they do with their gut is going to be enough and the issues come back if the autonomic nervous system doesn't get back into its natural balance this also causes issues with the lymphatic system because the lymphatic system also responds to the excess of tension in the body the lymphatic system is like a filtering and sewage system it captures toxins infections bacteria that don't belong in the body and the metabolic waste from your cells and then it gets it out of your body via poop pee sweat and so on but if you carry a lot of tension from stress then you don't have a good blood circulation then the lymphatic system the natural drainage in the body gets clogged and what starts to happen is that the lymphs in your body become congested and the metabolic waste and all the toxins suddenly don't have a way to get out of the body this means that your cells are now surrounded by these toxins and metabolic waste it creates a toxic environment and better diet doesn't really fix this issue because every time the cells absorb new nutrients they create new metabolic waste and if the sewage system doesn't work then this metabolic waste and the toxins are just piling up around the cells it's like if you were living surrounded by trash that keeps piling up around you if your cells live in this kind of environment then they can't absorb nutrients properly and the body can't deliver oxygen optimally into those cells this can create loss of energy brain fog slow recovery and it also triggers weight gain because your brain and body don't care about your happiness or long-term health benefits that's your job the brain and the body are wired for survival so when there's too many toxins around the cells the body starts to store fat because fat is a great way to protect the organs and other important systems in other words excess of body fat is a great storage for toxins in the body this is why people who have struggled with a lot of body fat for a while feel awful when they start to work out exercise is supposed to make you feel good and give you a lot of energy I didn't understand that for a while when I had people telling me that they are not experiencing that amazing feeling that I keep talking about when they exercise but now it makes total sense knowing what's happening in the body of someone who carries a lot of fat because when people start to exercise and burn fat they're not just releasing the feel-good hormones they're also releasing all the toxins into their system and because the lymphatic system is really slow or not doing a great job getting rid of the toxins it causes them to feel awful people can sometimes have flu-like symptoms when they start exercising and burning fat 
they're basically going through detox that makes them feel horrible. So no wonder that a lot of times people give up on exercise. They don't want to do it because it makes them feel really crappy. And then on top of that, they might get criticized for being lazy because people who are leaner and fit usually don't have this experience after exercise. Exercise feels great to people who are relatively lean and fit and don't carry a lot of fat. So having this knowledge alone can help you understand what you're going through or what your loved ones are going through and why you haven't been able to stick to exercise. Why does it make you feel so bad? Because the last thing you want is to look at yourself as someone who's lazy or hates working out. It's not your fault that you haven't been able to lose the weight and stick to regular exercise because most weight loss programs are not going after the root cause and don't talk about these symptoms that come with excess body fat and exercise. And even if you're not carrying a lot of fat, but let's say you're experiencing chronic fatigue and you're low on energy, then chances are you have a poor vagal tone and your lymphatic system could use some attention. So the takeaway is that gut health is another important pillar of weight loss and needs to be addressed with proper diet. However, if you don't want to chase your tail or see very slow progress, then you need to improve your lymphatic system first and improve the fluid flow so that the natural filtering system in the body can do its job. So what about nutrition and balancing your blood sugar levels? We've all heard that when we eat diet high in sugar, it causes blood sugar imbalances, which turns into insulin resistance, which causes weight gain. And it affects your mood as well. So in other words, we blame the diet that we eat for our stress and the blood sugar imbalances. This makes sense on some levels and that's why the diet and lifestyle is another pillar of weight loss. But we need to also understand that we can have high spikes in blood sugar levels even when we don't eat anything. This means that stress alone can cause blood sugar imbalances. The other important thing to realize is that what drives our decisions around the food that we eat is our subconscious mind because our subconscious mind controls about 95, some say 97% of our mental processes, which includes decisions. And this is exactly why so many people are having issues sticking to a healthy diet, no matter how much they say they want it. We've all been there. We have all experienced what it's like to make promises to ourselves when it comes to diet and not being able to follow through with it. I've been working as a hypnotherapist for some time and I've seen enough examples of how the subconscious programs run people's lives. My clients tell me all the time, why is it that I know what I should be eating. I know that I shouldn't be eating the donuts at night, just an example. But why can't I just stop doing that? And again, it's not your fault, but because you think that you're always acting consciously, you blame yourself for your poor diet decisions. And that guilt that you create, is only another thing that is keeping you stuck because it creates more stress. And when you have more stress, your subconscious mind that is only trying to keep you alive and comforted will do anything to comfort you right away. That means it will make you to eat more food or the food that you find comforting. And if your grandma, for example, used to give you chocolates when you were a little kid to comfort you, 
then guess what you'll be comforting yourself with now at the age of 40 when you have stress. And that's just a very small example of our conditioning, which happens early in the childhood. And it's usually reinforced over time. Now, of course, there are also people that are not aware that their diet is unhealthy and they just don't know what they should be eating. But even then, switching their diet alone without teaching them about the power of their mind and addressing the autonomic nervous system, the lymphatic system, gut health and the hormones first is not going to be as effective because if they've been overweight for a while, they are going to have all these other issues. And if these other systems don't get addressed, then what's going to happen is that they will see either no progress or a very slow progress, which creates frustration and hopelessness and more stress. And the moment something happens, it's called life they will go right back to their old lifestyle and eating habits because their mind will always want to go towards what's familiar. And that's when people gain the weight right back and then some more. And this is why the first pillar is all about learning how to use your conscious and subconscious mind so that you can create peace within yourself and stop letting your mind run your life and creating more stress for you. This is why we're not going after the manifested physical stress and the vagus nerve first because psychological stress creates physical tension. So if I don't know how to use my mind, then I'll just keep creating the energy blocks and the tension in my body that creates so many issues. So first, we want to stop creating the excess of tension and create more inner peace and emotional resilience. Then we want to start releasing the physical tension and improving the vagal tone, which will help digestion and fluid flow. And when we have better circulation, we can address the lymphatic system and get the toxins and the metabolic waste out, make the body more efficient. Then we'll start to see really good progress in terms of gut health and digestion. We'll be able to balance our blood sugar levels and support our metabolism and hormones and create the lifestyle that will give us long-term results. When it comes to exercise, it's also worth mentioning that when someone's living in the sympathetic dominance, the fight or flight response, then their body and brain are going to be super sensitive and already in such a defensive mode that any kind of well-intended intervention is going to feel like an attack, creating even more stress and inflammation. This is also another reason why people often gain weight when they start exercising. This is actually a common thing because even the good stress, such as exercise, is now perceived as bad stress. This spikes the stress hormone levels and blood sugar levels, which causes even more weight gain. So if diet and exercise are not exactly working for you, if you're not sleeping well, or if you are very low on energy and you get tired a lot, then I already know that you would greatly benefit from the eight pillars of weight loss program. So now let me go over each pillar and each module in this program and what we're going to be addressing. So the first pillar will help you discover your greatest power, which is emotional freedom and resilience. You will understand how your mind works and how you can work with it in order to achieve your goals and create deeper sense of inner peace. Because what's the point of reaching your goals 
if it's creating more stress than joy along the way, right? I have worked with a lot of people and I have seen what works and what doesn't. My clients have been the best teachers, but I've also been obsessed with finding the answers to what creates stress and psychological suffering. And I have put together really powerful strategies that combine neurolinguistic programming, self-directed neuroplasticity, metacognition, meditation, hypnosis, and also ancient spiritual teachings. In other words, you'll learn how to use your mind more effectively. And it's not that most people don't use their mind the right way. They don't use it at all because their mind is using them. So in this program, you'll get the tools to take charge of your mind and create more conscious awareness. Just imagine how it's going to feel when you're able to navigate through otherwise stressful situations with way more ease and grace. Imagine what it's going to feel like working towards your goals while enjoying the journey instead of getting frustrated or discouraged. It's huge. It's going to make a really big difference in your weight loss efforts and just in everything else. We can't get rid of unpleasant situations because that's just part of life, but we can certainly learn how to perceive them and deal with them in a more constructive and resourceful way. So this work is going to be really transformational because it's going to improve your self-esteem, your confidence, and it will give you much greater emotional freedom and resilience. The second pillar, the second module, will give you all the techniques you need to improve your vagal tone and get your body out of that tension and the fight or flight mode, which will improve your blood flow, digestion, and it also helps to resolve chronic pain. It helped me to get rid of chronic neck pain, which I had for about eight months. And after doing these techniques that I'm gonna share with you in the program, the pain went away within just a few days. And the crazy thing is that these techniques are actually nothing new. Some of them have been around for thousands of years. The third pillar will give you techniques to improve your lymphatic system, which would almost instantly give you a lot more energy. It's the most life-changing thing because your body will naturally detox. I will show you techniques from Eastern medicine, Chinese medicine, Qigong, Ayurveda, and osteopathy. I have personally been experiencing incredible increase in energy using these techniques. And also I no longer have to take painkillers during the time of the month that used to give me awful cramps. I will never stop doing these techniques because they're so amazing and it's really life-changing. So anyways, the fourth pillar will teach you how to support your gut health with proper diet. The fifth pillar is all about balancing your hormones. The sixth pillar is about lifestyle and nutrition and how to choose a way of eating that will balance your blood sugar levels, increase your metabolism and also um, fit your own individual needs and your own bio-individuality because there is just not one size fits all diet plan. You have to find what works best for you and your lifestyle and that's what I'm going to help you with in module 6. The seventh pillar and module 7 in the program is all about training and mobility. How to exercise for long-term benefits and for achieving your ideal weight and how to take care of your joints and how to build muscles because muscles are super important for weight loss. And the last pillar and module eight is going to be about creating powerful habits because all of the knowledge, the tools and the techniques will have to be applied on a regular basis. So it's important to create routines and habits around it so that you don't slip back into old ways of doing things or unhelpful habits. 
This program also includes daily workouts for all fitness levels from beginners to advanced. And last but not least, you can also decide if you want to participate in our year-long challenge and get the chance to win some of the cash prizes. We have $5,000 in cash prizes because some people like to have that extra motivation and my ZG members enjoyed the challenge I did two years ago. So I decided to combine it with this program. And the challenge is year long because it does take time to make progress in weight loss and fitness, especially if you've been sedentary or struggling with weight loss for a long time, or if your system is really overloaded and overwhelmed. I don't want you to push yourself to the max during the first eight weeks of the program, because that's exactly how people get worse or their results don't last. This is about giving your body enough time to get really fit and create a lifestyle for, you, for yourself that will bring long-term results and help you achieve your ideal weight for good. So if you want to start the new year 2023 empowered with new knowledge and tools and supported by yours truly and other like-minded people and make it your best year yet, in terms of fitness or weight loss and confidence and emotional well-being, then make sure to sign up for the eight pillars of weight loss program at zgymchallenge.com. You can find the link in the description below this video and don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button so that you don't miss any new content. And I will see you guys soon. So. Cheers to progress. Ciao.